So I've been sent a leak for Pokemon Z8 that apparently is being parroted as possible or real. I haven't seen it yet, and I know the verdict. It's not. It's fake. That's a mean thing to say. I'm just saying, there's no shot anything is leaking right now. Even Riddler Koo is sad alone in his room like, I don't have anything to riddle. Who the freak got all this crap to leak? The greatest thing that could happen to me is what happened to Joe Merrick, where when these three leaked and he said, this is categorically fake, that it turned out to be real. And people still haven't forgotten to this day. Let it happen to me. It won't. You know what? If it convinces me, I'll tell you if I think it's real. Legend Z8 Mega Meganium Photo Leaks. Hey teacher, not sure if you've seen these, but there does seem to be some legitimate photo leaks for Legend Z8. The poster has been posting all these images over the course of the past week or two, and it's worth noting that the blurs on the photos line up perfectly with how Scarlet and Violet initially leaked, where the leaker would blur out his details. You know, the way it works is different people were working on the game when they're getting these visuals, they all have different codes on their version so that if it leaks, well, we know where it came from. So it could be fake, but up until the Drampa image, all the text has been spot on for Japanese. That's a hard thing to fake, okay? Here's the poster on September 27th, Drampa pre-evolution. There is no breeding, but there are eggs. Hold up, bro. Focus. Stay on topic. That sentence can't come after that. So apparently this is a pre -ev Who the frick? No one, I wanna be wrong on this. No one in their right mind that Game Freak wants to make a pre-evolution for Drampa. Unless, no, there's no situation. How the frick can you F up by starting off like that? Like, oh, they'll never see this one coming. Oh, oh look, Megastone's up here, boys. <laughs> what am I even seeing here? It, it's just like a small baby dragon. There is no breeding, but there are eggs. What the frick are you talking about? There's no breeding in the game or Drampa doesn't breed. There is an old house in Lumios with an old couple. The man offers to teach you a strong move and the wife offers to give you a rare gift after completing certain missions and activities. They say they're from a family in Hoenn. Of all the things you know about this game, why do you know this random sp The Drampa pre-evolution hatched from the egg. It's still... Oh, that's what you're saying. We can't breed in this game, but NPCs will give you special eggs. It's still dragon normal, and the only move it has was baby doll eyes. Okay, so it's supposed to start off as a cute... You know what would be cool? If there was a pre-evolution for Jampa, it had an alternate evolution as well. Kind of recreating the Applin situation where this old man dragon is just one of the pats and maybe the weaker of the pats. A better example is actually turning Jampa pre into a Tyroke. But of all the Pokemon, the source found Ariados and Noivern Megastones. I thought you were the source. I guess this leaker is once removed and the beta tester had only seen certain things in the game to relate to him. Yes, the source is playing an early copy of the game. It is not finished, but it is able to be tested. There was a problem with one of the houses where you couldn't enter without the game freezing for a few seconds. Did you think you had to share this? Hey, just so you guys know, I'm the real deal. There are bugs, right? Let me name some. This is the photo he posted. What do we have here? This is the name of the Drampa pre-evolution. Scrap says like baby run, like baby dragon. Let's take a look at these mega stones. So this is the Noivernite. And this is the Eriodosite. I know you are not saying the Japanese they nailed is the Japanese they could copy from an actual game. So, to prove so bad you're a leaker and you have all these numbers over your image that you have to top secret hide at no cost, why the frick is the 4 exposed? What dumbass exposes the 4 just to show yeah there are numbers here? And that I can't censor this? Who walked off the screen? Hey, here's the next image. So, here we have... Who knows what that is? But here we have Mega Meganium, where I guess it looks like a dragon type. And there's that nail Japanese, the Mega Niamu Aito. And I don't know who you're trying to imply this is. That's not a Taurus, that's a dub wool. A Mega Dub wool? Where it turns black with a red face. You know, that's a good design. I like it. Here's another image of it. That 
is not bad at all. It's also got these spikes coming out, like it's more dangerous. Kalosian Dub Wolf Fire Steel. I don't hate that at all. Mega Johto and Kalos starters. So they didn't put the Kalos ones, but they're saying there's a Mega Fraligator that's Water Dragon, Meganium that's Grass Fairy, and Typhlo. But honestly, all three of these typings are pretty fitting for the three Johto starters. I wouldn't mind these being the exact typings they get. Returning characters, Looker and Gita. What the frick is Gita doing in this game? Well, Gita got sent to the past? To gain some use out of her character? <laughs> if I see Gita in the... I would like that in the sense that she would not be wearing her freaking pants suit. And you could actually have a whole other design for her. Unless she pulls Ingo and just dresses the... Has Ingo ever washed that uniform? The frick is he wearing that for? But whatever. Alright, Looker helps you investigate power shortages in Lumio City. Zygert cells are consuming power. There's... Bro. Okay, so we've got a baby Lumios city before it's renovated. Does it make sense that Zyga's just there sucking it? Well, no. No past themes in the game. Lumios is trying to redevelop after... La How freaking... Is that why my the last video I covered had this freaking same idea? That it's... Not a game in the past. I can't even disprove it. Even though it's very obvious we're going to the past. I can't disprove that every Legends game is going to the past. Because we only have one. But holy frick. You're a leaker. You had a very obvious path to go with this. And you decided to curveball it. Loomis is trying to redevelop after Lysander's actions. But there are problems in Kalos causing Zyger to scatter itself around Lumios. The more Zyger cells you obtain, the more Lumios can redevelop. What is he, a parasite? Does not Zygarde not do good? That almost looks like the five noble Pokemon you'd find in this game are just different mutations of Zygarde clumps. So the same way you have like the wolf, you would see like five different animals. You know, in the weirdest way, first off, Gita, get out of the region. But in the weirdest way, I actually really liked Dianta as a champion. I know she doesn't do anything. I've always wanted her to do something. It looked like she would be able to kick ass. Is she not going to do anything here too? Not that this is real. Like, I don't need to do crap in this game. Just take this in the modern day. There's leagues of trainers all around us like to save the day. What is this? Is this a new Rockruff? Wow. And, uh, oh, that's sick. They got a close up to really make it look like it's full gameplay that they've taken snippets of. That's a good one. So, Iwanko, this is Rockruff's name in Japanese. I like the Legends look of the game. It would be cool if we had a Rock Ruff variant and this one could actually become that Dawn form. Wow, so yeah, they really spaced these out. I wonder if they posted more stuff by the time I made this. The person found a Rock Ruff in one of the power zones. It kept using a move that translates to Thunderbox. If you walk around it, your whole team gets electrocuted, so you have to sneak around it or stay far away. The camera from Scavio is back, but no selfie feature. I'm getting his perspective. He knows the most random details because he's watching this beta gameplay. That's why he knows a crashing when you go in the house. He knows that old couple in the home. He's only seeing what the person played. Fine, baby. So this rock riff is the complete opposite than what I thought. It is, these are like thunderclouds. It's an electric type. So I guess the power zones would be the noble area equivalents. I guess there's all kinds of Pokemon around this Zyger that you're trying to get to. You got to sneak around them. We kind of saw this with Legends. Except in Legends, there was no need to actually use stealth against the Pokemon. It was fully optional. There was a Dragalgi melting the steel. So Clodster got angry and attacked it. Oh, <laughs> you're saying in the overworld. I like that. Yeah, so Dragalgi does have corrosive poison. It melts steel and crap. So in the overworld, you would see them fighting each other. That would be really cool. So the same way you saw that Rapidash in Legends Arceus that would attack you. Instead, you see like two red-eyed Pokemon attacking each other. And when you get into battle with them, they even have decreased health. There was one Zygarde core in this area. He fainted about four times. I guess the player. 
every time he fainted, it sent him back to the beginning of the lair, not the Pokemon Center. Well, there's your daily dose for the day. When I find something else interesting to talk about, I'll be back. But let me know in the comments. Fake or real?